What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about the report that just came out that Redfall was in development for PS5 but was canceled after Microsoft Xbox acquired Bethesda. So, um, this week there was a Redfall event a Redfall media event where they invited the media out, bigger bigger channels, bigger outlets, some of the smaller channels to come and try out Redfall. And so far, there's been previews that have been released this morning, and the, the impression of the game is pretty positive. People are pretty optimistic about it. The game is looking good. Right, so first of all, let me say all right off the bat, Xbox has done nothing wrong with making Redfall an exclusive game to, to Xbox. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. The only thing wrong with this situation, and, is, and I'm going to point, point it out, is Phil Spencer talks too damn much. He talks so much, you kind of forget what, what the last thing he said was. You kind of forget what his stance is on certain topics. Because he interviews too damn much, you know, he, he talks to too many damn outlets, he talks too damn much. Sometimes his, his, the things he says contradicts and, and clashes with one another. Because I've said this before about Phil Spencer. Love the guy. Great guy, love him to death, but he's a silver tongued devil, right? And he plays, he sometimes plays word games. And mostly the problem is, is there's Phil Spencer, the man, and there's Phil Spencer, the executive. And Phil Spencer, the man speaks when Phil Spencer, the executive, the head of Xbox should be talking all the time. Phil Spencer talks about how he feels personally about things. And that can be taken as how you're going to move as the businessman. But you, you, you got to shut that, that gamer down. He, he talks from a gamer and from a, a fan of games and, and from a, a, a general consumer standpoint sometimes, but you can't do that because it clashes sometimes, right? So an example of what I'm talking about, and I'm about to bring up these articles, um, is Phil Spencer has made it very clear that he's not a fan of exclusives. That's him personally. But as a businessman, of course he knows exclusives are good for Xbox and Game Pass. So you got to have exclusives. So that can look like a clash of words, of your own words, and you're like you're stepping on your own statements and, and a contradiction. You can't say in one article, oh, I'm not a fan of exclusives, and then clearly go out and buy publishers and try to, uh, and, and as we've, and as this uh, article clearly states, obtained exclusives so so here so here let me just read what this says so and this is uh from push square and there's a bunch of ar other articles i'm gonna reference like i said there's been a, a a redfall media um blowout that's been happening and people have been giving their uh you know their previews and everything like that so it says an, an ign friends an interview with creative director harvey smith at arcane um stated that uh one year prior one year prior to the acquisition, uh, it was actually targeting, Redfall was actually targeting Sony's new next-gen console, the, the PS5. He said that all changed pretty promptly, of course. We got bought out by Microsoft, and it was changed with a capital C. They came in and said, no PS5, we're focusing on Xbox, PC, and Game Pass. Once again, nothing wrong with that, as they should. Smith added that he believes it's not a big deal, and it's actually a good decision. He said it helps support Game Pass and have one less platform to worry about, one, le one less complexity. I like that he said that because we've actually heard that by multiple sources, by multiple developers. It's easier to optimize and easier to make a game when you're making it for less platforms. That's not debatable. Everybody has said it. PlayStation has said, you know, it's, it's the case with Final Fantasy. Um, it's, it's, it's going to be the case with Redfall. Mo third parties have said it. So it's not something you can argue at this point, right? So both parties, whether it's PlayStation, Xbox, whoever is doing it, making uh, games for less platforms, they benefit from it. And there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it, right? So I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad he said that. So nothing, nothing wrong with this. The people who are mad, nobody should be mad at Xbox for making Redfall and, and exclusive, but what many people are going to point out are what Phil Spencer has said in previous previous in interviews. Now I'm going to cover Phil Spencer because one of the things he has said um, is that Microsoft is deciding 
uh, on a case-by-case -case basis uh, about the future of Bethesda games on PS5, Switch, or wherever they, they are going to go. He has made that very clear. It will be a case-by-case -case basis. Play, PlayStation, and we're, we, are, we are in a slightly different time um, where, yes, PlayStation generally would make everything exclusive. Even Microsoft would generally make everything exclusive. But we're living in a, a, a little bit different time in the industry where, for example, Minecraft is still on PlayStation. Any future Minecraft content will most likely still be on PlayStation. Um, even though uh, Sony acquired Bungie, they're not under the PlayStation umbrella. They're under Sony um, because that was the deal that Bungie, Bungie wanted. They're still going to be releasing future uh, Destiny content and, and even their game after that, uh, reportedly at least, on multiple platforms, including Xbox. So we're still living in, we're living in a different time where uh, when you buy a publisher or a developer, they may still release content on other platforms. It's, you know, but it, it, it really depends. But so this this, you know, lines up with Redfall being on uh, exclusive to Xbox and, like, like, you know, on, on PC, I guess, even though, you know, multiple platforms is not necessarily necessarily an exclusive, but it's not on PS5. That's the point. So this coincides and lines up perfectly. The, the issue comes in is when Phil, when you look at Phil Spencer's, and you know, I did a little bit of journalistic research because it's like, Phil Spencer has talked so much, I forgot what he's actually said. He's done so many interviews. I'm like, yo, what has this man actually said? And the answer is, he said too damn much. He talks too much. And I like, and I like Phil, great guy, love him to death, but he talks too much. You don't gotta talk this much, bro. So when you look at this, right, this, this article, and these articles range over a bunch of years. Um, he said, success doesn't mean pulling Sony down. And in this article, he, he goes on to say, uh, I'm always listening to the community, but people who want to see others fail in order for the green team, meaning Xbox, to succeed, he said, that's not me. Once again, I told you sometimes he speaks from Phil Spencer, the man. He got to stop doing that. He said, he said, that's not me. But that doesn't mean that's not Xbox or Microsoft or Phil Spencer, the executive, even. That's personally what he does not like. He is personally against exclusives. Um, he goes on to say, you know, he's worked with Sony and everything like that. Sony has shipped PCs and they had Windows on it. They've had development tools to build. They've used their development tools to build games and all that stuff. Uh, he mentions Minecraft and all that stuff. It's still on PlayStation. Cool. So this, is, this one is a little bit vague and not that damning. Um, but it kind of speaks to how Phil Spencer feels and thinks. Here's another article uh, where he spoke about, I think this was at a, a, an award show, and he spoke, spoke about how game companies must, must, must turn away from dividing players and creators. You can make the argument that exclusives turn away, excuse, excuse, excuse me, exclusives divide players and creators. Once again, not something I have an issue with. Love exclusives. I'm sorry. Exclusives are business. There's nothing wrong with them. But when you speak out against this stuff is when, it start, when you start to look fishy and you start to look spooky and step on your own statements. Phil Spencer believes we'll see less and less exclusives over time. I think he was actually right about this, but it kind of, once again, just lends to how he feels about exclusives. He wants to see less, of, less and less of them over time because it feels like it divides players. This one is very straightforward to how he sees exclusives. Exclusives are completely counter to what gaming is about. You can't make it no pl more plain and simple than, than, what he, than how he says it right there. This one was in 2020. This was like three years ago. This one was 2022. Uh, this, one was, uh, this one was just the beginning of this year. Um, this one was 2019. Phil, stop doing so many interviews and stop speaking on the same thing so many times. Because it starts to, you know, you start to, you know, really step on your own words. And this one, Phil Spencer reiterates, he does not like console exclusive content. That, that's more to like uh, content in, in third party games. I think he's speaking more specifically about that. And he didn't, this was an interview with the Brazil game show. Yeah, he was speaking more about DLC, DLC here. Once again, all these articles just point to how he feels and, how, and, his, and his dislike of exclusives. This does cover him, like I said, because a lot of people on Twitter will uh, just cherry pick 
all those other statements Phil Spencer has said and be like, oh, look, Phil, Phil is a liar or Phil is a contra, you know, he's a, he's a hypocrite and all this stuff. He, the man has covered himself, but there's no denying the man steps on his own words and talks, talks too damn much. Phil, brother, stop talking. <laughs> stop talking. Because if you just stop talking, then people have nothing to leverage against you. People can't say, oh, you're contradicting yourself or contradicting, you know, Xbox or, or whatever. Because some of these stances are not necessarily Xbox stances. They're Phil stances. But you being the head of Xbox Worldwide Studios, that kind of gets put together. That's the thing. Stop speaking from Phil the man and, and only speak from Phil the executive. That's what you, that's what you need to do. And then there will be no problem. Um, once again, Xbox did nothing wrong here except for Phil Spencer flapping his flapping his gums unnecessarily and seemingly sometimes forgetting what he said last time. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's my take on this. There's nothing wrong with this. There's no issue here. PlayStation, you know, would want to make everything exclusive um, that they possibly can to the, to the PlayStation platform. The only thing is Jim Ryan ain't denying that. Jim Ryan is not going to come out. You've, I don't think you've ever seen Jim Ryan come out and, said, and, and say, and he won't ever say, oh, I'm against ex exclusives. Exclusives are, are, are counter to what gaming is about. Oh, we don't like to do that. No. R R Jim Ryan will never say such a thing. He loves in it. He bathes in it. He showers in it. That's what he's all about. He's all about taking content from others and putting it on PlayStation exclusively, if he can, for players. That's what he's all, all about. He doesn't, and he, he may have personal feelings that go against what he feels as a businessman, but you won't ever hear him speak about it. And it's not like Jim, Jim Ryan has never uh, lied or contradicted himself. He absolutely has. But it's, but it's, not, but it's never his like, personal feelings versus, uh, versus his, his, his business um, side or executive side that's talking. It's usually his business side saying we'll do one thing and, and then eh, we're not really going to do that. We kind of lied. So both lie. But speaking about Phil Spencer, right, uh, specifically at this moment, brother, you just got to stop talking. That's all. Less quotes, less interviews. We, we, it's not needed. Not needed. Like I said, great guy. Love him to death. Um, and some people may use this, you know, as fodder for that whole ABK deal that's going on. I don't, I don't care about that, right? Because some people might say, look, look, they lied. And, you know, and, and some people have brought this up regarding Starfield and, and now Redfall, where they say, oh, look, they did, they are actually taking games away, right? When they said, when they, said they wouldn't in relation to the whole Call of Duty thing. And some people have made the case, you, you can't take away something that wasn't actually announced coming to your platform. I don't know if, I, and I don't care. I don't know if I agree with that, just because that, with that notion that you can't take away something that wasn't announced. Because PlayStation clearly knew about it. We don't know about it, right? We don't know about it. But PlayStation knew that it was in development like Starfield and Redfall. They knew about this stuff before we did. So, did, could you make the case since they knew about it that, they actually did take it away? Possibly. Either way, like I said, I don't care. I wasn't going to, I wasn't, I'm buying Redfall. I already have it pre-ordered, but I was always going to buy it on PC because I buy all first person shooters on PC. So it doesn't matter to me that it's not coming to PS5. So, but uh, let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button, hit the, you know, hit the uh, join button, become a member of the channel. Follow me on, on, on Twitter. All that good stuff. Check out Weapon Wheel. Hit the notification bell so you can know anytime I upload. Going to start uploading. A, I, I'm going to challenge myself a little bit. I think either this month or, or in April, going to challenge myself to make a video at almost every day. I'm not talking about like just uploading some gameplay videos I may have. I'm going to do that too. But actually, because I see people, right? And I've talked about this before. There are some talented people that, I, that I'm subscribed to that can make a video out of nothing. And they're a really good, like, they, like, I don't know if they actually care about some of the stuff they're talking about. Because I'm, I'm looking at the stuff they talk about. And I'm like, bro, there's no way you could care this much about this topic. But they, they take, like, a, they take something so small and squeeze everything they possibly can out of it. And I'm like, yo, you good. You, I, I'm, it's hard for me to do that. 
if it's not a topic I really have something to say, I have trouble even making like a minute video on it. But I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm gonna be that. I'm gonna be that milker. Okay. I'm gonna be that 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 lemon squeezer for a month. I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna try. I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off, but I'm gonna try. So um, yeah. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.